session of Thursday? It was, uh, yeah, the lads have um, lads been working really hard. And obviously, you only have to have a, have a look at what they're doing. Um, you know, they're working individually, working really hard, they're pushing each other. Uh, you know, the preparation that um, you know, the conditioning staff and the medical staff put in to, to get them to this stage after four weeks has, has been incredible. So uh, it's been a real team effort to, uh, to get the work done that we've done over the last four weeks. Is there an injury update? No, pretty good. Yeah, obviously Johnny sat out uh, just with his um, with his uh, thumb, and you know he's a frustrated watcher, um, like most of the players are. But you know we're all pretty good. There's, there's obviously times when players need to be managed a little bit, whether they've got niggles or, or just uh, off the back of last season, uh, they've got anything that uh, they need to manage. But on the whole, everyone's working really hard, and, and um, you know it's uh, it's a good group to be around at the moment. A couple of players working away from the main group, uh, Josh, Will Addison, is that just again management? Yeah, you exactly. You know, Will came off the back of that um, that back uh, operation that he had uh, last season and Mr. Chunk, so he's put in a good bit of work since he's come into camp. Uh, you know, same with other players, Josh being one of them, just again, you know, there's a heavy workload through the week and sometimes players just need to be managed in, in a session like that. Uh, um, you know, they, they've, they, if they haven't done the pitch session, they'll always do something that's slightly uh, different, but uh, probably no, no less, uh, no less easy. Will presumably comes back into the reckoning now if he can train well over the next few weeks. Of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've uh, 45 uh, players in the squad, and, and um, you know the way the players have gone over the last few weeks, they're making it incredibly hard on us to uh, you know to whittle them down. Um, it's going to be going to be tough because they're. Like I said, they're all working really hard together. They're working hard for each other on the pitch, but they're also enjoying time away from the pitch and and, uh, and you know enjoying uh, the sort of I guess the, the build up. But just around the corner is is Italy, and and uh, then things start to become a little bit tougher in terms of us having to to start to make some decisions on selection and, and uh, uh, who out the the squad gets those opportunities to perform over over the August period. Lucky Durrance didn't take part today. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah. Again, um, you know, not many fitter men in the squad, but uh, you know, Elsie would, uh, would would certainly be one of those that might need to be managed at certain times. Again, he's he's worked like all the others have who didn't work today have worked incredibly hard in the week and in the last uh, four weeks we've been together, so there's no issue there. Just in terms of the next couple of weeks, the lads have spoken about how it becomes rugby specific. Have you seen any trends? In the season in maybe that'll come in the rugby championship that you have to develop your own game for the World Cup. Uh, I guess the you know the, the, there's a few amendments to the to, to laws. Uh, uh, those of you who'd seen the under 20s, there was a few few sort of issues around the tackle height, and and, and that might come into play. Um, obviously, rugby championship starts this weekend, so we'll see a little bit more of of what that has to offer and how the the referees uh, make some decisions. Scrum, there's a slight amendment uh, in, in terms of. Uh, the positioning of the heads, I don't think that'll be a massive issue, but again, it's something that we have to, to possibly adjust slightly to. Um, but hopefully over the next couple of weeks, we, uh, we start to, um, you know, we progress more into the rugby. Not that we haven't done any, because we, you know, the lads have, have done plenty so far, but uh, it's certainly that transition phase now into putting some of that, that great work they've done in the gym and on, in the conditioning into practice when it comes to uh, togging out and, and uh, going head to head against Italy. Does that change with the, the tackle height so close to the World Cup? Is that a bit frustrating or is it hard to, to work in? Uh, I, yeah, I, I just think it's it, it'll there'll be a teething period and hopefully that teething period will be uh, you know our um, our summer series and um, we'll have we'll have tidied everything up if then stuff needs to be tidied over that period. Same with the rugby championship teams, they'll obviously have a um, a period where they'll they'll be able to adjust slightly. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a massive issue. I mean um, you know, we have to um, we have to protect both uh, the carrier, but we also have to protect the the uh, tackler. And I think that's you know that's part of the, the broader picture is making sure that we we um, safeguard the players, uh, but not just the ball carrier, the tackler as well. You move on to have a ten after a week off. The facilities out there, the humans look pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's really excited about getting out there. Uh, you know, we've been really fortunate uh, to. To go to Galway and use um, use Connor's facilities here in Munster have, have been brilliant. You know we've had uh, you know free range over all their their uh, facilities, gym and, and pitch, um, and then obviously in Carton House the first couple of weeks. So we we've 
we feel like we've had a you know a, a good period in, in different venues, but um, it'd be exciting to go to the uh, the national centre and, and uh, hopefully we can get plenty out of that week uh, before we build up to the Italy week.